Game dev in general is very difficult and it's very challenging. But I think what matters in C4G, the company at which I work, is the very fact that we can be creative basically every day. And that's what, and that's actually one of the most important things for me when it comes to the quality of the work I have to perform every day. We can all have our individual ideas, we can all have our individual opinions, and they sometimes can very dramatically vary, I can tell you that. But what's the most important thing is basically synergy and team effort, the so-called team spirit. We have to discuss some ideas sometimes very extensively, but in the end we arrive at a conclusion, at a solution that's going to work best for the game that we are creating or whatever task it is that we are performing at a certain time. I believe in people and having a good relationship with them. I have great plans for the C4G and I am sure we will achieve great things in the future. Game Dev is a very challenging business, but it's very creative. What I love most about C4G is the atmosphere, the team spirit. We all have individual ideas, but we can work together and it always pays off. There's a lot of work, that's for sure. Every day brings a new challenges and we have a discussion with them together to find the right solution. That's why teamwork is important in this company. Right now we have a new game, well, relatively new game, mobile game coming out and it's been published a few months ago and it's called House Secrets. And we as C4G specialize in a hidden object game segment. Hidden object games usually are aimed at women who are approximately at the age of 35 plus, let's say. We are creating a world in which they are going to spend some time. For, it can be even half an hour every day. But this is a world to which they come back and they want to come back to it. So it's our priority to make this experience as comfortable and as entertaining as it can be. So that is why we basically discuss some new ideas about the game and how we can improve it every day. We are reading the readers' reviews, we are trying to help them, and we are also communicating with, the, um, with our players. That's, I think, one of the most exciting things of making the game. We are planning to expand the universe of the game, so to speak. We are, we are going to expand the map, we're going to introduce some new characters, new plots, uh, new subplots, and we are going to create, let's say, or implement in the game a new module that's going to revolve around short stories about, about the characters, about the world that we have created. But um, there are many projects that we have in C4G. It's not that we only concentrate on hidden object games, which of course, I may say, we specialize in. But at the same time, we have other projects and one of them is actually a project called Recu. Recu to me is something of a novelty in terms of its business potential in terms of the experience that it's going to provide its future users with. Recu is basically a kind of an innovation in the recruitment process. It's going to be aimed at recruitment companies and big companies in general who are looking to employ new, um, new potential employees. And in the past, on, or maybe the way it's organized right now, the whole recruitment process that is, is that you basically have to evaluate yourself. You, you talk to the employer and you say, what are your skills and so on and so forth. Now with Recu, the innovation, so to speak, would be that you would have, that your skills will be gauged by how you behave and how you perform in the environment of the game itself. So we are creating, well, you can say we are creating a, a game, but at the same time we are creating a whole assessment system for a potential employee. And that's really exciting because it's also connected with really plethora of functionalities and things that we have to implement for this world of the game to, to basically work. So that's something that I also work on. It's not only House Secrets but also Recu and that means I have a lot on my plate and that means I, there are loads of things that I have to make sure are happening and a lot of deadlines are being met. But, but that is something also that I've come to discover, that this business is, is a very creative one and it's very challenging because the competition is quite fierce. But that is something that keeps you going and I think that's something that motivates you to keep going in this business and try to compete, well, with the biggest players, right? That's what we should do and that's what, um, that's what we should believe in, that maybe one day we can be as, um, as big as them, let's say.